Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. Kind of a bummer of a weekend for the weather. Well, yeah, I mean, so-so. If you want to get some sugar on snow, maybe in the morning tomorrow or on Sunday. Sunday's kind of windy, but we've got a little light mix. That must well, be what you're doing. At least about. you can eat pancakes and maple syrup inside, so we'll, we'll be okay. And yeah. sleep very late. Yeah, maybe. why not? Yeah, a little we'll sleeping. See. We'll Let's see. take a look at what's going on on Church Street. A couple of people out having mm -hmm. fun on this Friday night, 34 with a clear sky. So uh, the messy mix that's on the way and it's way out still. It doesn't really arrive till tomorrow afternoon. So the timing is basically between 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon and through the day Sunday with little or no accumulation in the valleys, but a couple of inches of snow and sleet in the mountains. But temperatures are up near 40. So the thinking is even when stuff's falling from the sky, most roads will just be wet, even if snowflakes are coming down. We do have 28 at Whiteface right now, uh, Shea Z at 28 as well, 25 in Brookfield. So cold enough right now for snow or a mix, and that sets the stage for what is to come for tomorrow afternoon. The rain that we're watching here is still south and west of Pittsburgh, and there's actually a, quite a few tornadoes on the ground. That pink color there in Mississippi means confirmed tornado on the ground. So the very far southern part of this system has some heavy duty severe weather, but we're on the wintry side, uh, at least still this go around here in late March. And you can see the snow and sleet coming in two, three o'clock in the afternoon, but it's really the first band that's the steadiest. So tomorrow between noon and 5 p.m., pretty much everyone has something coming from the sky. But by late evening, it starts to break up. It's just showers of snow and sleet and rain, couple hours in there when it's just cloudy going through Saturday night. And then it turns cold enough on Sunday so that it switches back to snow, but it's mostly just in the mountains with a very strong west wind through the day Sunday. So the Adirondacks snowy Sunday, northern Vermont snowy on Sunday, but not so much right in the Champlain Valley. A lot of it will likely dry up and the sun starts to increase really not until Monday of next week. So we're thinking two to four inches in the baby blue color, which is uh, higher elevations of the Adirondacks. It's pretty much not Plattsburgh or Burlington. No accumulation right next to Lake Champlain. But in northern Vermont, a lot of dustings to inch or two amounts. Southern Vermont also in the dusting to two inch area. So not very much and most, uh, mostly in the higher spots. So teens and 20s tonight with the clouds increasing. Still increasing the clouds in the morning but dry wouldn't be till afternoon that the mix arrives 38 in burlington for the high and in southern vermont even a 38 in brattleboro so that's why most roads will just be wet we get down to about 36 saturday night so probably not really an issue on the roads even saturday night and by sunday it's just windy with a lot of clouds that wind might even be enough to impact some of the ski lifts so we'll have to watch that and then for Monday, the sun comes out, and then we've got snow showers in there for Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Liz, Alice.